Hi, I'm Steve Schweitzer. Welcome to Steve's Tech Talk. Christmas came early this year with the arrival of this amazing iMac. Some of the high-end editing I was doing for Boomer TV was taxing this old laptop. There's so many decisions to make when you're buying your next computer. Where to start? A desktop. I bought a uh, iPad mini. I got a Mac uh, Pro Air. The first big decision is desktop, laptop, or tablet. I was definitely swimming against the current when I bought this baby. As the percentages keep climbing for tablets, the numbers are tumbling for desktops and laptops. I just used it for internet, uh, writing up documents. Uh, now I did have to get a keyboard for that. Ryan Busby's iPad purchase reflects a growing trend. If you don't need to carry your computer, a desktop will give you the most features for your money. If portability is important, consider a laptop. It's probably the most expensive option, but it'll run the same programs as your desktop and the computer you use at work. If you just want to surf the internet, look at email, edit pictures, then maybe a tablet's the right choice for you. We have an iPad and we have a, a Samsung pad, so it's not an iPad. And we like both of them, so we're not very picky though, I'll say that. We want them to function, we want them to be reliable, and we want them to be portable. If you're like Janet and function and reliability are important to you, don't be sucked in by the cheapest price. Once you've decided on the computer that's right for you, there are still lots of things that can affect its price. For starters, there's the operating system. I've been a Mac guy since 1984 when the first Macintosh came out, but I'm on speaking terms with some people who run Windows. What I mostly focus on when I am looking for something is uh, one, the processor speed and how much RAM it has on it so it's not too slow. More people should be like Kevin and pay attention to the computer's processor and RAM. The processor is like the computer's brain, and the RAM affects how fast it'll run. My best advice is to look for benchmark tests on the internet. They'll show you comparisons on how fast computers will load and run certain programs. Next up, consider the computer's drive. This is where you'll store all those pictures and documents and programs. You can't go wrong with a one terabyte hard drive. And if you can afford it, I'd suggest you consider an SSD drive. That's a solid state drive, doesn't have any moving parts, it's faster, quieter, and uses less energy. I wouldn't buy a computer without trying it. You gotta spend a lot of time banging away on the keyboard. Does it feel good? Is it backlit if you're gonna be working in low light situations? If you're gonna buy it online, can you return it without paying a sizable restocking fee or paying postage? So to sum up, once you've decided between a desktop, a laptop, or a tablet, you should still consider the right combination of processor, RAM, and hard drive. For Boomer TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.